welcome back to the Mastering PHP Image Processing Video Textbook for PHP Webmasters. First thing we will learn how to do is check our GD installation specifics and we'll also run an example of using one of the GD functions just to make sure that everything's working correctly and that the GD library is indeed installed on our server with PHP. So let's create a variable and this variable is going to hold an array of information that we're going to access using the GD info function. So that's all you have to do to put the GD info array information into a local PHP variable. And then on the next line you can create another variable called version and that's going to be equal to the GD info array key of GD version. Close your double quotes, close your bracket, and semicolon. Now we'll just echo that to the page. In between double quotes, I'm going to type in your GD version is, and I'll put a colon there, space. And then after the double quote, I'm going to put a dot to append to that string the value that this version variable holds. Then put a semicolon there. Now when I run this in my browser, on my server, I'll see exactly what my GD version is and I'll know if it's installed or not depending on the value that comes back. Okay, so I put the file up on my server and this is the output that I get. Your GD version is colon bundled 2.0.34 compatible. Now I'll show you how you can also access the full arrays information instead of just accessing that GD version. So let's go down one line. Let's type in echo double quote double quote and in between the double quotes I'm going to put an HR tag which is a horizontal rule just to separate everything. Then we're going to put a for each loop. Open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly brace, go down a couple lines, close the curly brace and there's your little for each nest. And within the parentheses we're going to put this array and we're going to list it as key value pairs. And now within the for each loop we can simply echo key equals key value equals value or you can just let's just echo key and value like that and let's see what that gives us let's press control s to save it and put this on the server and let's refresh this file and you can see now i have my gd version like i did before but now i have the whole array of information being output so i can check the gif read support gif create support jpeg support or that stuff one means true. A missing value, I would suppose that means null or false. But that's how you can access the whole array of information. If you want to access just one little piece at a time, you can do like I did here. Target a certain key within that array. So that way you can get the value of that key out just by itself. Or you can use the for each loop and echo all of them out or evaluate all of them. Now let's take an image that we have on our server and manipulate it using the GD library of functions. So I'm going to take this file, put it on my server, I'm going to make sure mypick.jpg is sitting in the same folder. This is what you want to see in your directory. Whatever PHP file you're working with and then a JPEG image in there with it that we're using in this script. Now what we're going to do is go down a couple of lines and you know if you put this on your server, this file, and you run it that picture will show up on the page. So now I'm going to pop in some PHP code that's going to take that image, copy it, and rotate it using the GD library functions, and then we'll output it right next to this one. Alright, now let's discuss this code real quick. So here is our target image, mypic.jpg, and it's on the server in the same directory as this file. If you had this picture in a different directory, you would type in images slash and go into the images folder and grab it or whatever. But since ours is in the same folder, we're just going to target it directly there. So we create a variable called img, which is short for image, and that's equal to image create from jpeg, which is one of the gd functions, and so is image rotate, and so is image jpeg. And let me explain what those do. Image create from jpeg is a function that will do pretty much what it sounds like it says it'll do. It'll create a new image from a jpeg, whatever your target jpeg is. So now we create a new local variable called image rotated, and that's equal to image rotate. You put your 
target file here, which is now the new image that we created from that source JPEG. And the image rotate parameters are your image. The second parameter is your rotation. And then the third parameter here is the background. And I put minus one because I want a white background. If you want a black background, you can just change that to a zero. You can use different numeric values to target different colors in the spectrum. Now the last GD function we're going to use here in this sample is image JPEG. And what that will do is output a JPEG. And I'm giving it three parameters. The first parameter is the file that I wish to output, which is this rotated image. The second parameter is the path and the file name for the new file that I wish to output, because I wish to lay this file on server and create a copy of the original. And the third parameter is the quality of the JPEG, which you can set that for 80. I'm just going to leave it at 100. So that's the quality of the JPEG rendered. The higher the quality, the larger the JPEG size will be. But, you know, using JPEGs, they're all relatively small. Now, all we have to do is output the new one. So let's press Control C here, press Control V there. Make sure we change that name to My Pick Rotated here. So now we'll see the rotated image right next to the original. So before we run the file, let's take a look at this comment. Let's target an image, copy it, rotate it, and save it. So we're targeting an image here. We're copying it using the image create from JPEG function. We're rotating it using the image rotate function, and we're saving it using the image JPEG function. Now once it's saved at that point, you can render it to the page. And you can actually use image JPEG function for rendering it to the page without having to put your image tags here, as long as you set your content type on the page using a header. So here I am at my script that was just rendering an image to the page using the image tag in HTML. Then I added my little script to copy it, rotate it, and then display it right next to this one. I'm going to refresh, and there you go. Now it's rotated 45 degrees, and now if you look on your server, that will have magically created this new picture. And you can now take that and do whatever you want with it. All right, so that's how you can check to see what GD version you have, make sure it's installed, and then run a quick test for yourself to make sure the functions work for you.